How much should you charge for fall cleanup? What up, doe? This is Keith Kelfus in the video. This video, I'm gonna talk about how much to charge for doing fall cleanup. And let's talk about it right now. Okay, my base cleanup price for fall cleanup is $250. I used to do it for less, but I wasn't making the profit margins that I needed. And we know when you have a small business, profit margin is everything, right? So we do upsells and add-ons as well, like gutter cleaning. So if you start from the top down, every single property needs gutters clean, right? So $85 for a ranch house. 149 for a bigger ranch house, 199, 249. The only reason I charge $85 for this specific client is because it's a small house and it, it takes a couple minutes. And so I've had this client for many, many years, but you could charge whatever you want. The next thing is winterizing plants. So we go around with the Okasuna trimmers or a pair of hedge trimmers and we cut back all of the, uh, the lilies, the perennial plants, the hostas, and anything that's just gonna die and keel over the leaves during the winter. So everything looks nice and clean, right? Real quick, see all these lilies? These are all gonna get cut back to the ground with some Okasuna trimmers. These as well, these hostas are all gonna get cut back to the ground and removed or just ripped out by hand. I'll put links to the Okasuna trimmers below. They're those handheld scissors. Look at this pond. My friend uh, Jeff Michaels from Pondering Waters actually built this several years ago. And I picked up this uh, client, but uh, Greg Whitstock from Aquascape is where the products come from. Thanks, Greg. You're awesome, man. And one quick side tip. Uh, I learned you gotta make a little cubby for the fish to hide because the herring birds will come and they'll, they'll steal your fish. All this stuff is gonna get trimmed back. All this gets cleaned up. If you do lawn care service, which you probably do, it'd be smart to do a final cut and a nice clean edge, blow down the whole street so it's looking crispy. My debris removal fee is, this is a, I could fit 10 yards in here, right? So, it really depends on the client. If I'm filling this thing all the way up, you know, I can't give you a price. Even though I have standardized pricing, it's different for when you have clients that you've had for years and years. Like, I'm not gonna charge a customer. Um, basically what I'm saying is before I went and changed and upped all my debris removal prices, I was increasing overall prices first, right? So if I have a client that used to be $200 for a fall cleanup and now it's $300, and we only have two tarp loads of debris. I'm not gonna be like, um, yes, $50 for two tarp loads of debris. I just conceal it within the overall price. But with new clients we have, I have a debris removal line item where it says 50, 150, $180 in debris removal. I used to charge $30 per yard of debris removed, but the dump where I dump it, tower recycling, jack the prices up to they want eighty dollars for me to dump this dump trailer then they lowered it to 50 then they went to 25 then they went back up to 60 so i can't get a consistent price anymore because the dump won't make up their mind how much they want to charge me right so i literally have to eyeball everything according to whatever the client has and whatever's going on at the dump I won't Top and spend a while for you Pick you up and they 
look down on you Take one loss, no one's around for you I won't stop No, 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 no I won't stop I won't stop I won't stop No, 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 no. Up, what's up, what's up? I don't even know what that is. Just stopping in to say hello. We have gotten hit with a substantial wave of fall cleanups and gutter cleanings. My voice mailbox is full. And I can't even get back to all these people. And I hope the same is for you. I know in this business, it can be soaking wet or bone dry. It can be so bone dry where you feel like uh, you're giving up Hope and the spirit of discouragement is one of the most powerful things that can tear you down. Uh, I've been through it myself a lot. And I've also been through levels of hope. It's like, what up, dog? We're going to blow this shit up and we're going to get rich. So I believe that everything is in uh, relativity. We live in a relative universe. And I'm like, why am I speaking in circles? Um, just stopping to say what's up. Gutter cleaning, gutter cleaning, this time of year, uh, put out email newsletters, change, even chains, email chains, put out signs, get signs made immediately, post ads on Craigslist, do Angie's List deals if you're hooked up with them, gutter cleaning, charge 150 bucks for a standard ranch house, a two-story house like that, I don't know, 150, 185, 250, if it's a house that you can't do safely, don't even do it, if you are not experienced in doing it. Like, we don't have big 32-foot ladders because, uh, I don't know, we, we just don't have them. I found myself on a couple houses before. I was like, I literally can't do this. And it's not a good place to end up. But there's a lot of low-hanging fruit right now with cleaning out gutters. Climb up with a backpack blower, blow it all out, all the downspouts. Uh, don't do it if it's wet because it'll blow crap all over the house. Or some people will get pissed even if you blow stuff and it goes in their garden beds. It depends on the customer. Our deal is 85 bucks if we're already on the property. Like these two houses behind, we're doing the fall cleanup. Uh, $400 per house for full leaf cleanup and gutter cleaning. If you got to drive out, 150. Uh, aside from that, what do we charge for fall cleanups? A small little tiny house and a subdivision, little subdivisions, small yards, 140 to start plus $60 per truckload. Anything under 200 bucks for cleanup is just gonna be tough, unless you have big leaf suckers and vacuums and riding, riding mowers. When I used to work with companies, you could do a fall cleanup in 35 minutes. If the leaves aren't too bad, just go real slow, keep sucking up the leaves and dumping them, dumping them, dumping them. There's a lot of ways, but if you don't have that stuff, I like to keep our fall cleanups uh, $250 and up because you're out there, you know, busting your ass, dragging tarps of leaves before you know it, it's dark. And I know in this business, especially if you have labor, labor and un labor, unemployment, payroll taxes, and all those ex uh, extra costs, um, if the dark creeps up on you too fast and you didn't get to that next job, you could have just worked the whole day for 50 bucks or free. So uh, being very cognizant, I've looked at things in my business where, you know, I really go back and do the math, I'm like, I just did all that and I didn't make anything. Well, it's enough to sustain the business, but you don't actually put any money in your pocket. And I talked to my buddy Scotty, uh, he's an entrepreneur, I talk about him here and there. He's like, yeah, but those are the things that feed, just feed your business and keep your guys busy. And then the, the other perks are where you make money. You can get to points where you get you know, discouraged or frustrated and you're like, I'm only doing the shit that makes me money and I'm dumping everything else. Well, unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. It's just like a grocery store. They lose money. They don't even make any money when they sell milk. They make money when they sell other stuff. So, just the nature of it all. It's like, you know, I'll do the math. Sometimes I work Monday, Tuesday. By Wednesday, I'm like, dude, I haven't even made any money this week. And then Wednesday will hit this spike. And it'll make up for all that, plus profit. And then Thursday, I'll make shit. And then Friday, I'll hit a jackpot. And then work a half day Saturday. I'm like, oh my god. I made the same amount of money this week as I make every week, and what was I bitching about? Uh, 
Call on a side note, I'm just making distinctions. I'm gonna, I gotta get to this job, and I know you're busy too, and I thank you for your time. Oh, here's them, the bus. If you're having problems getting work, or you're thinking about starting a business, if you're thinking about starting a business, any time is a good time to do it. Uh, if you're starting, trying to cut grass in the middle of the winter, no one's gonna call. The best time is now, because the experience you get is more important than anything. I know we've all got our own trials and tribulations and things that we go through. If you're going through hell, realize someone else is going through it too. We're all going through it. But the biggest thing that I believe is surrendering to the moment and realizing outside of a totalitarian system, and I wasn't hinting at anything, I was just saying outside of the system and the constraints of the powers that be that we live in, um, there's really nothing wrong in this moment. And life is a beautiful gift, and your health is your wealth. It's very, very true. I'm gonna start with a backpack blower. And uh, wish you the best. I got some cool, cool episodes coming out soon. We've been doing a lot of filming and uh, fun stuff like that. And stay tuned to my channel, subscribe, and hit the notifications button so you can be the, one of the first people to watch. And I got some fun episodes coming up and a lot of cool plans uh, for this winter. All right, cool. Go on, make lots of money. Make sure you save up for your taxes. <laughs> and uh, that's the name of the game. Just paid off my student loans last week, man. Completely. Spent five and a half, six years paying off debts. I did the math. I've paid an average of, I think, 300 and... Uh, don't, I said it in some other video. 350 a month or 400 a month towards debts for the past five years and finally almost completely out of debt You know a lot of people start a business. You don't start a you start a business You start a business suffering and broke and in debt and fighting for your life That's what gives you the fear motivation to go out and do this crazy shit so, All right, listen to some audiobooks. Just listen to Dr. Wayne Dyer wishes fulfilled. It's an amazing book about uh, transcendence in he was dying of leukemia when he wrote the book but he was a phenomenally positive dude now I'm reading a book about self mastery um, I love audiobooks all right peace out I was just trying to like say as much stuff as I could in seven minutes peace quick little parking lot rally meet up the lawn and landscape peeps out here. We've been talking for a good half an hour all about the business, about the industry. And we got some YouTube channels as well. So your name, um, name your My name is Bailey Sullivan. I'm with Sullivan Lawn Service on YouTube. Check us out. We got some awesome content for you guys to watch. And he does. I checked it out, man. He's got some good stuff. He's got this, uh, his, his, well, you just got to check it out. <laughs> yep. Check it out. Check it out. All right, cool. Yeah. Landscaper Tyler Dieter on YouTube and Tyler Dieter in real life. There you go. <laughs> yep. You gotta say your spiel, man. Um, I'm with Sullivan and Lawn Care. Check them out on YouTube. There you go. <laughs> Josh with JL Landscaping Property and Maintenance on YouTube. My company name is JL Landscaping and Property and Maintenance as well. Perfect. I'm not on YouTube. Uh, no, you don't gotta be on YouTube. You just say your name and oh, name oh, of your okay. business. Oh, okay. Now you really are on YouTube. Uh, my name is Jonathan. I just do solo lawn care and about it awesome what brings you all the way to the GI Expo what is it what made you get in your cart and drive you. this far you <laughs> thank you sir <laughs> <laughs> thank you. appreciate it oh, no problem I'm Mark Sullivan and I drove my two boys down here with Sullivan lawn care awesome <laughs> yo how you doing what's up sir I'm doing good I'm Marvin West Coat do asphalt maintenance. Oh, you coating, just hit me up on filling. Snapchat. You a few got it. Ago. You got it. So you can check us out there. Um, do a little bit of landscaping stuff, but mainly I'm here to pick Keith's brain, pick Stan's brain, pick a lot of people's brains because uh, we're starting to get bigger, and we want to make it get bigger and bring some good awareness to, especially the asphalt maintenance industry. So check it out, Wisco Channel on YouTube. Thank you very much. Makes perfect sense. You got it. And that shirt's badass too. Like you can't miss it. I know. <laughs> it's awesome. That's why I keep that big body behind it, man. It's perfect. <laughs> hey. <laughs> yes, sir. What's going on YouTube? Matt Hickman. Uh, we're with Hickman Lawn Care on YouTube. Check me out. Thank you, sir. Thank you.
Brandon Rickborn, what's up, YouTube? Check it out, Loyalty Lawns. Check it out. I do some uh, other stuff besides lawn care, trying to do, you know, talk about investments and things like that. Hit us up. There you go. Working on my friend together. Yeah, he just works yeah, for me. Uh, What's your name, sir? Uh, Vincent Bida. What do you like about doing lawn and landscape work? Yeah. No, too much I got comprende you on the spot. English. No, no, understand a little. Not Say much. something in Spanish. Ah, okay. We have Spanish viewers. Um, yo aquí vine a acompañar a mi a mi amigo este, Brandon. Trabajo con él en, en de yarda en, en todo lo que se puede. Thanks, sir. Yeah. <laughs> to believe the name, lawn and garden, my game. Uh, I started. I started. <laughs> <laughs> hey, like I said, name Dante. Awesome. Name Dante Delore. Uh, Tripoli Lawn Care. Uh, Keep Coffees, uh, Dirt Monkey, a lot of everyone just brought me out here just to can wait to you two brought everyone together is why I'm out here. And uh, that's about it. Check it here out. you go, sir. Wait, there's someone I missed. They are got me. Who did I miss? Vanessa. She gonna be mad. Oh, you're on camera. You gotta say your name <laughs> for the business. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. What up? My name is Vanessa. Hey, you I'm a Triple D Lawn <laughs> Service. There you go. <laughs> I got everybody on, right? Yeah. When you got a All camera right. like that shoved in your face, it's a pretty good excuse. There you go. Cool. There's no, there's no hiding oh, the fact you're going to